Hi, this is Marcus Giuliano from Aromatime Bistro in Ellenville, New York. You can find us at aromatimebistro.com. We are here today at Tuttletown Spirits Distiller in New York, and I'm here with Ralph, the owner, the mastermind behind uh, uh, bringing the, really the first distillery into New York since Prohibition. First whiskey distiller. First whiskey. Yes. And I'm only yeah. half the mastermind. Brian Lee, my partner, who's not here, is, is the other half. Excellent. Well, we've, been, we've known about your product for some years now. You've been around, when, 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 when did you actually start production for, for sale? Uh, 2005. 2005, so it's been around five years, 2010. Um, we're here today with here with some of the staff, and I've always liked your rye. I've always you know, been really drawn to your rye, but we're tasting everything today. Um, you took us through the, the, through the distillery, told us the process. Let's talk about some of your popular products here, because we're, we now have five, six year products. We have some vodka too in the restaurant. So just give us a quick rundown of, of what we have here, and then I'm going to show you the neat little system that we'll be serving this. Well, we'll I'll start here with uh, our corn whiskey, and it's made with New York State corn. Most of it's grown for us by our local farmers. Uh, it's not moonshine. This is we treat this just like we treat every other whiskey, very carefully. It has a very good uh, corniness to it when you, when you taste it. <laughs> good for mixed drinks. If we take this uh, corn whiskey and we put it into a barrel, it comes out of bourbon. And this is our baby bourbon, which is the first bourbon ever made in New York. And uh, it's uh, the first aged whiskey in New York. No, thank you. Right over there. Joel, our, our production manager. Hi, guys. Stop with the camera, Joel. Hi, Joel. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we are making a 100% corn bourbon. And so uh, after a while, we started to experiment with single grains. So then we went, so this is 100% corn. This is 100% rye. So we start out with rye grain, the seed. Then this Did you is- zoom in on all the labels? I am right got now. This is see. wheat. Uh, this particular batch of this whiskey is wheat. But in the future, the, this batch, this is our experimental label. So it changes with every batch. Okay, uh, so this is called New York whiskey. New York whiskey, and this particular batch was wheat. We, so okay. Whatever we find that we really like and we want to put on, uh, put what in. What you a feel represents New York or the local the area, local grains, the right. local and that rye, agriculture. When we, when we have a rye or a wheat or corn, it's usually from around here. So okay. And then the last one here is the four grain bourbon. So that's a, a bourbon made that's a combination of these three types of grains, which are combined at the grinding stage, and then also the addition of malted barley, which is generally from Canada, because there are many people malting barley in. States anyway. Okay. And um, now the neat thing that I really like is you really focus a lot on local. Yes. I mean, you have some things that aren't local, but you, everything we're bringing in is really local and you'll keep touting within 10 miles. Jamie and I just went to Italy and we had a great tour through Tuscany and through several other states in Italy. And they have a term in Italy that's called zero kilometers. We like to say um, footprint. Mm -hmm. They like to say zero kilometers. They want to get as close to zero as possible to where they're actually. Um, eating the food or, or consuming the spirits. So we decided to come up with, on our menu, we decided to only serve American vodka now. We don't buy imported vodka anymore. And I'm going to start putting the mileage that it, that it was <laughs> the distance to the restaurant That's great. as great. a selling point. So I'm going to eventually switch over and do the spirits. I mean, with 300 wines, 150 beers, and 50 single malt scotch, it's a lot. It's a, I, I'd be on Google Maps all day, you know, figuring how far these are. So, but we're definitely going to give you guys a separate page in our wine list. It's, it's 30 pages our wine list. We're definitely going to give you a separate page and really tout that you guys are really 10 miles just right over the ridge from us at the restaurant. Yep. And to make it neat, because if you come into the restaurant and you have all these options, you're like, oh my gosh, which is which, which is which. We now are going to have an aroma time. A fancy little caddy that we can walk right to your table and pour a flight right at your table of what they what they have here. And of course, this, is, this isn't anything fancy. This is water in a fancy bottle um, to bloom your, uh, your whiskeys and make the flavors come out. And we'll come right to your table with this neat little caddy and talk to you about, you can read and cross-reference, and it's all local stuff, and we're really excited about this. Well, we are too. We're uh, really excited. You can go to our website as well and learn Please. more about the whiskeys and how they're made. And there are quite a few photographs and introductions to all the staff. It's not a very big staff. Um, which we like. Which we like, of course. One family, one big happy family around here making whiskey. 
What is the website, please? The website is www.tuthilltown.com. That's Tut Hill Town. T U T, like King Tut, T U T H I L L Town, you got T O W N dot com. You have a tasting room. When's the tasting room open? This is the tasting room, and it's actually the barrel room, uh, and, and all of the barrels that are over there are filled with whiskey. So while you're tasting your whiskey uh, here at the tasting room, you're actually amongst the aging and, lo and stored whiskey that we're getting ready for the next batches. And um, the tasting room is open uh, all week except Tuesday and Wednesday from noon to 6, and on Saturdays and Sundays, noon to 6, and there are tours at noon and 3. And you can sign up for the tours on the website. Excellent. Well, Ralph, thank you very much. Thanks for coming and bringing everybody. You are what you drink. Drink local. <laughs>